The fighting in the Kursk region continues and now the Ukrainian armed forces are advancing on another key city, Korenevo. This is the conclusion reached by military analyst of the German publication Bild, Julian Robka. He noted that the videos published yesterday from the city of Sudza confirm the control of the Ukrainian armed forces over this important city near the border. Before the war, about 5,000 people lived in Sudza, and it is the largest settlement in the Russian Federation that is controlled by Ukraine. The German analyst considers it noteworthy that the published footage from Sudza does not show any destruction at all. In total, Ukrainian analysts announced the establishment of control over 44 settlements in the Kursk region as of yesterday, which is approximately 5% of their total number in the region. Based on other videos that have appeared online, Robka concludes that heavy fighting is taking place approximately 20 kilometers south of Sudza. The analyst does not name a specific settlement, but it is likely the regional center of Belaya. Fighting is also taking place 6 kilometers east of Sudza. The German analyst believes that Chechen Akhmat units are also fighting there. On the opposite flank, 30 kilometers north of Sudza, the Ukrainian armed forces are advancing on the regional center of Korenevo and trying to expand their bridgehead, the analyst believes. Footage published by the Russian armed forces shows Russian drones attacking Ukrainian mechanized units to the south and east of the village. At least one Ukrainian BTR-4 has been destroyed and another has been captured by Russian troops, although the Russians themselves claim to have destroyed or captured 10 Ukrainian armored personnel carriers. If Ukraine succeeds in taking these settlements, it will be a terrible failure for Vladimir Putin, writes Julian Robka. American analysts consider the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region a huge gamble. In their opinion, the Ukrainian armed forces losses near Kursk could be quite large and the effect for Russia relatively insignificant. In this case, the offensive in the Kursk region will finally undermine Ukraine's ability to hold the front in Donbass. Russia has prepared its fleet to launch nuclear-tipped missile strikes against targets in Europe. The Financial Times reports this, citing secret documents it has obtained. They say that the Russian fleet is trained to fire nuclear-tipped missiles at targets deep in Europe in the event of a potential conflict with NATO. Even before Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the military provided NATO officers with maps of likely targets, some as far away as the west coast of France and Barrow-in-Furness in the UK. The documents show how Russia envisioned a conflict with the West and planned a series of overwhelming strikes against Western Europe. The secret documents, compiled between 2008 and 2014, include a list of targets for missiles that could carry both conventional warheads and tactical nuclear weapons. Russia has retained the ability to deploy nuclear weapons on surface ships, which experts say carry significant additional risks of escalation or accidents. The documents also note that the Navy's high maneuverability allows it to carry out sudden and preemptive strikes and massive missile strikes from multiple directions. Nuclear weapons are generally intended to be used in combination with other weapons to achieve Russia's goals, the documents say. The publication notes that the documents were provided by Western sources. Analysts who have reviewed them say the contents are consistent with how NATO assesses the threat of long-range missile strikes from the Russian Navy and the speed with which Russia is likely to resort to nuclear weapons. The publication notes that the maps were made more for presentation purposes than for operational use. They depict 32 NATO targets in Europe. The Baltic fleet's targets are located mainly in Norway and Germany, including the naval base in Bergen, as well as radar stations and special forces facilities. The Northern fleet is expected to hit defense industry sites such as the submarine yard at barrow in furness In Northwest Britain. At the same time, former NATO official William Albert, who now works at the Stimson Center, said that this sample is only a small part of the hundreds if not thousands, of targets mapped across Europe. Russia's ability to strike across Europe means targets across the continent will be at risk once the Russian military engages NATO forces in the Baltics and Poland, analysts and former military officials say. Their concept of war is total war. They see these things as potentially victorious weapons. They will want to use them, and they will want to use them fairly quickly, 
said Jeffrey Lewis, a professor at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies in Monterey. Tactical nuclear weapons have a shorter range and are less destructive than the large strategic ones intended to attack the United States. However, they can still release significantly more energy than those dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima in 1945. 